We're back with another video gameplay walkthrough of Tales of Exilia, and today we're gonna be. Well, actually, in the last video, Mila lost her legs through the explosion, and now we're trying to revive her legs by going to Jude's father, or I guess Jude's hometown. But <laughs> he didn't really mention his father, so I'm not really sure what's happening. They left everyone, so Jude is alone with Mila without legs so we're gonna be fighting alone I think I don't really know so I don't want to fight I don't want to bother with fighting I'm just running past it's about to pour down on us better call it a day good idea How did you become such an amazing cook? I can't even boil water without burning it. That's not true. Anybody can become a good cook with practice. Everyone has their own mission. <laughs> so you're saying my mission is to cook for Mila Maxwell? Well, in my current state, I can't even do that. I can't make dinner. I can't even make a bed anymore. Don't... don't worry. I'll do that stuff for you from now on. <laughs> hey. Sit closer. I want to thank you. Please, take this as a token of my appreciation. Thanks. We should reach the Sea Haven sometime today. Glad to hear it. Ah, boy, you stupid boar! You had to knock the, knock the horse away, and you're so easily defeated too. Over already? Mila, you okay? Sure, I'm fine, but now what? Hold tight. I'm pretty sure he can't carry her. I'm pretty sure of that. If they start to hurt, just say so. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm pretty sure he can't carry her. Oh well, you know it's a game. It doesn't have to be logical. When you carry me on your back like this, I can't help but remember flying with Sil. All right, let's save just in case.
Let me go check on the ship's schedule. I'll be right back. Lady Mila! I finally caught up with you! Ivor, what are you doing here? When I saw your face on the Wanted posters, I knew I just had to find you right away! But what about your duty to protect Nia Kara? I begged the villagers to let me come to your aid. They were very understanding. You imbecile. That's not the point. Don't you realize- Ugh. Lady Mila, are you okay? Your... your legs. Mila! You! Tell me what you've done to her! Stand down, Ivor. This wasn't Jude's fault. I brought this upon myself. But you wouldn't be in this predicament if I'd been by your side. Listen here, Pipsqueak. Handmaids are made, not appointed. One must dedicate his life to serving and protecting Lady Mila. It is an esteemed position for real men. Manly men! She may have commanded it, but clearly it was a mistake to let an uncouth, unreliable, underhanded stranger like you serve her holy person. Now, come with me, Lady Mila. Wait! My father might be able to heal her legs. If what you say is true, I will be the one to take her to see him. I've had you pegged as a phony from the moment I laid eyes on you. Now know your place and be gone. You can accompany her if you like, but I'm coming too. Hmm. Ivor, stop this nonsense. Please, Lady Mila, stay where you are. You will thank me for this later. All right, this guy's a little crazy. I shut up. I don't need to hear your excuses. I tried. I said shut up. It's time for you to pay for your sins, you bastard. It's time for you to pay for your sins. Harrisman. Harrisman. All right, if you're losing this battle, what you need to do is go back to town and then uh, upgrade your wep the weapon shop level so that they will unlock higher level weapons and armor for you. Not good. Oh boy, what am I doing? Let's heal Bo. Not good. I must fulfill my duties. That I must do. Pretty good for a phony. Call me whatever you want. I just want to help Mila. How many times do I have to tell you? That's my job! Lady Mila! I don't have time for this. You two can duke it out as much as you want. I'm leaving. I'm sorry. If you still aren't satisfied, I'll fight you again later. Right now we need to get moving. <laughs> Ivor, I have something very important to give you. It's crucial that no one else gets their hands on it. Consider it as precious as my life. The lives of the four are counting on it. And you're entrusting it to me? I shall defend it to my last breath, Lady Mila. I knew I can count on my handmaid. Now, return to Nia Kara. What? Your duty is to protect Nia Kara. But Lady Mila, my place is with you! Don't make me repeat myself. G hurry up and take her. 
But don't forget who's the real handmaid. This guy. Uh, sure thing. And I promise, I won't rest until Mila walks again. You got that right. Ah, right, that guy's a little crazy, but yeah, we beat him. And let's set sail. Bon voyage. You just had to be the winner, huh? Oh, yeah, never mind that, Jude. So tell me, who's your friend? I suppose that you know this girl. Uh, yeah. She's an old friend of mine. Uh, how do I explain this? Leia, meet Mila. Hello, Mila. <gasps> hey, what's wrong with her legs? Run and get the doctor! Stat, this woman needs help! Right! Roger! Are you heading home? I'll come with you. Here, use this! Alright, so we got something there and... Now I guess we're going home. Is this home? This is a pretty nice place that you grew up grew up in. I mean, it's homey. They say that back during the mining boom, this whole street was packed with merchant stalls. Is that right? I was just thinking how much this quiet little street fits you. Uh, where's Dad's clinic? Ah, here it is. Hey, Leia. Talk later. Let's hurry to the clinic. Is that mother? Father? Mother? Oh no, this is the inn. Food vendor. We don't want to go here. Wrong place. Aha! Jude, how's the big city treating you? Do you like the capital? Hmm? Who's this? Oh, you ready to see me now, Doctor? I'm sorry, everyone. We have an urgent case here. You'll have to come back in the afternoon. Everybody. We'll catch you later. Promise! <laughs> You've really gotten into the swing of things here, Alea. Best nurse in town. Also the only nurse in town. But hey, you know how it is. Bring her in. 
Thank you. Try not to worry. Your friend is in good hands. Have faith in your dad. You look like you've been through the ringer. Want to tell me about it? Yeah. Well, I don't even know where to start, Mom. How about at the beginning? Well, I guess it all began with my professor back in Fenmont. Doctor! Doctor! Yes, what's wrong? My grandpa was working on the roof and he fell. He's out cold. Don't worry, I'll be right there. I need to leave for a bit. Hold down the fort, will you? Huh? But you just got here! I'm sorry. We'll have to catch up later. It's fine, Mom. Duty calls. Looks like the little crybaby is all grown up now, huh? Crybaby? I hardly ever cried as a kid. <laughs> I was just trying to get a rise from you. You're no fun. Hmm. So serious. I guess the big city turned you into a bona fide adult. Dr. Mathis. Hey, Dad. Come with me. The patient is suffering from more than just leg injuries. Your journey has left her with a drastically weakened immune system. Why didn't you prescribe rest? <sighs> Answer me. Surely they taught you better than this in med school. I'm... I'm sorry. Have you informed her of the nature of her condition? I did. I told her you might be able to heal her. So you lied to her? What? It's the truth, isn't it? You've done it before. <sighs> Jude, Jude, Jude. You seem to think that using an asparixis is a simple procedure, as routine as an appendectomy. In this case, it is impossible. But, Dad... Jude! The device attaches directly to the nerves and causes incredible agony. Few patients can bear it. Why exactly are you home, anyway? What happened to med school? Answer me, young man! So this is how you're gonna be? Jude! Thank you for the consultation. What got into him? <sighs> the procedure might be explained in the medical files. If Dad won't help me, I'll do it myself. Better check the archives. Oh, parents are just like that, aren't they? I hope I don't become one like that. Let's check the files. Looking for this? I knew you wouldn't give up just because your dad turned you away. Thanks, Leia. Wow. My old man really is a genius. They sure didn't teach us techniques like this at med school. Apparently, it requires a special stone. 
The kind of stone isn't written here, though. Yeah. Dad took detailed notes of the entire procedure. As long as we have the device, we should be able to heal Mila. But is Mila up for it? I heard the last patient to undergo the procedure cried uncle after eight seconds. He chose to remain paralyzed rather than endure the treatment. It's that painful, huh? You know, maybe you should just forget about this. What if your friend goes through all that torture for nothing? It's worth the risk. I'm going to do it. If you say so. Well, you should check the box up there. What's in it? The Asperixis! Yeah. I found it after I started helping here, when I was cleaning up. Let's go to Mila's room. I want to try this. Oh, uh, wait! I'm coming too! What are you doing? Shh. We can't let my dad hear us. Why not? We're gonna use the Asperixis on you now. But your father just told me it was impossible. Leia, give me a hand. Uh, uh sure. Here, you'll wanna lay down on your side. Feel anything? Any pain? No, nothing at all. My leg still won't budge either. Why isn't it working? I don't sense any mana in this stone. Your father said that an Asperixis needs a spirit fossil, or it won't work. A spirit fossil? Those things really exist? Oh. So the special stone mentioned in the medical files is a spirit fossil. Your father also said the fossil has to be used immediately after it's uncovered, or it loses its mana. Great. As if the procedure wasn't already tricky enough. Hold on. I swear I remember that they used to find spirit fossils down in the Felgana mine. Are you serious? Whoa, jeez, be quiet. It's just something my dad told me. Mila, it sounds like we need to take you out for some field medicine. That seems like a lot of work. You'll do that for me? Here. Thank you. Jude, can you help her into the wheelchair? What about you? I have to get stuff ready. I'll meet you at the edge of town. I haven't been back here in a while, but the town hasn't changed one bit. Alright, we'll continue on in the next video.